Alrighty guys, so today we're going to be talking about the light tab. So this item is a little bit different than some of the other tabs that I've been talking about where a lot of the items are really bad. Most of the items in here are actually useful in one circumstance or another. So with that said, let's get into it. Campfire. So this is something you'd build if you need to cook something in really early game or you're just like away from base or something. So. Say for instance, if I'm going to go kill Fuel Weaver and I need to cook up some green caps, I'm gonna build one of these if I don't have a Star Caller staff. So it's great for that. Generally, I wouldn't use these to stay warm. I would set things on fire around me with a torch because generally they'll last longer and they'll just be better fires overall to stay warm. Fire pit, so this is a pretty normal item you'll see in the middle of every base. So people just put one in the middle there and then you'll fuel it up at night when you need to cook something. So here's what you need to know about the fire pit. Any fuel you put in it compared to the campfire is going to last twice as long. And then also with the fire pit, generally people will put one in the middle of the base so that they can warm up at night during winter. There are faster ways to warm up. You're going to want at least two of them if you're gonna sit next to fire pits like that so you can warm up faster. Otherwise, you're just basically wasting time. But with this, if you get a star color staff while you are ruins rushing just really early on and there's just no one else you're playing with, so no one else built a fire pit at the base or just no one's gotten to build a fire pit yet, just straight up do not build a fire pit if you have a star color staff first because the star color staff is basically a straight upgrade with how much light it gives off and how easy it is to just keep it going at all times. Next up, we have the torch. So this is a really basic item that is extremely useful. So you can use this to set things on fire around you. And then you can also use it as a light source to run through the night. So very great item for both those things. Now, I will say a lot of people seem to think that this gives you some amount of insulation or warms you up in winter and it doesn't. The other day on the wiki, I saw that someone had added that it does that and I removed it because it was clearly false. Don't add that back to the wiki, that's wrong. Also, the torch does not warm you up. So if you set things on fire around you though, those will warm you up. So just keep that in mind. Endothermic fire. So this is a fire that will cool you down instead of warm you up. You also can't cook on it. So this is really, really not useful if you're using the most efficient tactic, which is to just straight up go underground during summer where the ambient temperature is lower and you won't overheat. And also there isn't any spontaneous combustion or wildfires. So generally just avoid these. Endothermic fire pit, so this is the same as the endothermic fire, same thing. Basically you just wanna go underground instead of building endothermic fires. They're kind of a waste of resources and you don't wanna be on the surface during the summer anyways, cause if you are on the surface during summer, things around you are going to start on fire. So it's gonna cost a lot of resources to stay up there and keep everything not burning. Miner hat, so a lot of newer players think this item is really good. And for newer players, it is a good item compared to what they're used to. So say for instance, they'll often wear winter clothing, things along those lines, and those items are just so bad. But as far as the miner's hat go, it's not a good item because generally you just wanna keep your football helmet on at all times in your helmet slot. That way you have a lot more HP pool to be drawing from, you could say, so that you don't die real quickly by getting like killed by like three spiders biting or something just random out of the blue like that. Now, Moggles. So this is this is the Miner Hat's older brother, really. So what it does is it makes it so that you can see everything on the screen, even in the dark. So for newer players, I would say this is actually a good item for newer players because it helps them understand world generation along things like the ruins and things along those lines. And it also helps them make a smart decision about what they're going to do in the current scenario. So. They can put these on when they enter the ruins and then when they enter the ruins and go in there, they'll see that it's in nightmare phase by seeing some shadow swim monkeys before they get aggroed onto them and then they won't run into them. The issue with these is while you're wearing them, if you get hit, you're gonna lose a lot of health. So that's not fun. They're hard to recharge. So you gotta use like uh, glow berries, things along those lines to recharge them. So it's very expensive to recharge. And then also, Generally, they take up an inventory slot. So if you're a really, really, really good player, you're not gonna build these ever and you're just gonna skip it, keep wearing your football helmet and just go run through. If you see Shadow Swim like he's also, you're just gonna straight up run through them because you don't care. Next up, we got the Pumpkin Lantern. So this item is purely decorative. It's going to 
rot after a certain amount of time. You're not going to want to build one of these, but it does provide a certain amount of light, so this is just a very decorative item. Lantern, so this is probably the best item in the entire tab. Now, the reason why that is, is because basically it's just a better torch that can't light things on fire. So you use this and you can run throughout the night without any issues and you can just go and do things. And you should just be running around and going and doing things during the night. I mean, you wouldn't be doing anything else. You need to get things done during that time because Don't Starve is kind of a uh, you're playing against the clock here so that you don't die to the seasons. Next up we got the mush light. So this item is absolutely terrible. So it'll provide a lot of light if you put a light bulb in there or whatever else you use for fuel in there because it will like slow the spoilage and it lasts for a while. But you have to kill Toadstool for this and Toadstool is a huge, huge waste of resources. As far as this item goes in terms of actual usefulness, it's decorative. Glow cap. So this is also just like the mush light, so same thing, just a different, you know, variant of it, looks a little bit different. So also just decorative, has light last for a while, takes killing toadstool for it. You can see right here, takes shroom skin, which is only dropped by toadstool, so very hard item to get. Not exactly a fun item to go get, not exactly a super good item for what you have to go do for it. And that is it for the light tab. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like or subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Bye-bye.